Today we remember and honor Saint Oswald of Worcester, also known as Saint Oswald of York, a 10th century saint known for his work to revive monasteries and reform the Anglo-Saxon church in the second half of the 10th century. Saint Oswald was born around the year 925 in England, where his parents had moved from Denmark. His uncle Odo, Saint Odo the Good, was the Archbishop of Canterbury and played a key role in Oswald's early education. Under his uncle's patronage, young Oswald was educated at the Abbey of Fleury, a great centre of learning and learned there the Benedictine ideals he would later bring to England. It was here that he was ordained to the priesthood. After spending several years in the Abbey, Oswald was summoned back to England by his uncle, who was nearing death. With his uncle's passing, Oswald began assisting another relative, Oskitel, then Archbishop of York. His work caught the eye of the new Archbishop of Canterbury, St. Dunstan, who consecrated Oswald as Bishop of Worcester in 961. Oswald introduced Benedictine monks there in place of its secular canons. St. Oswald was a great supporter of St. Dunstan and St. Dunstan's efforts to reform the Church. Along with St. Dunstan and St. Ethelwald, the Bishop of Winchester, and aided by the support of King Edgar, he participated in the reform of English monastic practice, which was supposed to bring it more closely in line with the ideals of the Benedictine rule. He is credited with reviving English monasticism by building and rebuilding many monasteries. St. Oswald is also known for promoting learning among the clergy in his diocese, bringing in instructors from Fleury. Oswald was later named Archbishop of York, but the Pope allowed him to retain jurisdiction over the Diocese of Worcester, where he often resided in order to implement his monastic reforms. Like his uncle Oda, he seems to have taken a particular interest in renewing the Church in the Dame Law. One of his most lasting achievements was the foundation of Ramsey Abbey, which went on to become one of the great Fenlin monasteries. Though it seems Oswald was heavy-handed in his reforms, he strictly refrained from violent measures, relying instead upon prayer, fasting, dialogue and fatherly admonitions. He promoted learning amongst the clergy in his diocese and invited many scholars including mathematicians and astronomers from Fleury, to instruct and preach in England. Unfortunately, King Edgar's death in 975 saw the dismantling of a great deal of Oswald's reforms, mostly at the hands of Elphir, King of Mercia, who broke up many communities that Oswald had laboured to create. Oswald had a custom of washing the feet of the poor every day in Lent and died after washing the feet of twelve poor men near his monastery on 29th February 992. He was so well loved that news of his death was met with city-wide mourning. His relics are reserved in the Priory Church of St. Mary in Worcester, which he helped build. St. Oswald is a leap year saint. He died on February 29, 992, making his feast day February 29th. When it is not a leap year, the celebration of his feast is transferred to February 28th. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us together pray. Almighty ever-living God, who chose blessed Oswald to preside as bishop over your holy people, we pray that by his merits you may bestow on us the grace of your loving kindness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.